So we know that the Browns are not going to get one of the top two quarterbacks in this draft. But that being said, Bud Shaw, they could get one of the second tier guys. Do you think, though, that they can come out of this draft without picking a quarterback? Or do they well, have to take one? I, I don't know if have to is the right, word, right way to phrase it. But you tell me. Having Robert Griffin III in camp is not a strategy to me. It's, it's, a, a, it's a prayer. It's throwing up a prayer hoping that he's the guy he was a few, few years ago. I much prefer, if I'm a Browns fan, to see a, a, at least a strategy involved. And that, to me, entails drafting a young, promising quarterback with a staff that's supposed to be able to develop him. So, yeah, I think they should come out of this with a young quarterback that they can develop and then they'll see where they stand next year with RG3. Can, can they pass on a quarterback? Here's my problem with this. That thinking, of course, is very sound. The problem I have is you've got to believe. I, I happen to believe there's a large fall off after the first two. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you say I develop a quarterback. That's fine. But do you, you've got to believe that, you know, whether it's Paxton Lynch or Connor Cook, I would say are probably going to be 3-4. Do you believe they're going to be starting quarterbacks somewhere down the line in the NFL? Now, if, if you do, sure. But if you don't think they have that capability or opportunity, why waste your time? You do realize that we're dealing with a head coach who <laughs> thinks he can make a quarterback <laughs> out of him. <laughs> Maybe. Here's the one thing, though, about the developmental guy, bud. You think Robert Griffin's playing a full season? You think Josh McCown's playing a full season? <laughs> Whoever they draft is you know, going to Sasha, play. They have four yes. quarterbacks. So they have an abundance of You better draft a guy that can play this season. Connor Shaw, baby.